never tell on video. Predicament was correct about that. She never tell on video. Going in is going to be sketched out, but I got a little reef in it. It dove down to 15 knots for a second and then reefed it more. Coming into southwest Norway. The waves were huge and the wind was strong, and it's about half that in here. Kind of turn to go north up in here. Just like the only safe harbors. We need some groceries. We want to tell that guy this boat's too little for to be out there. But to each their own. Here we come. I just walked this circle, but I also have to walk the um, dots to go pay and get Wi-Fi. Can I come with you? If just don't come out and watch the littles. Just yeah. deal. It's the kind of pictures you see about what it's like to be on the North Sea. It's crazy. A gigantic wave just came over our beam and soaked me and the cockpit and all the instruments. So I went, I had to go turn five to the north because the waves are coming more and more this way. I saw the biggest wave of my life. I had to take a deep breath and exhale slowly as it came toward me. And luckily went under me. Now the waves are getting so big that if I keep my back to them, I see this big shadow coming over me. That's a good one right there. They're not all going away. We thought they were. We aren't. Oh, oh. Back and forth and back and forth. It's 
sailing in the North Sea. But we're okay. Are you okay, Bree? Mm. You just want to play a game? Hey, that got be me. <laughs> Denmark, we still can't see it. We're going around the tip. And then getting as, getting as far as we can. The waves are still huge. Here. about going as far as we can today and then maybe stopping tonight somewhere in Sweden or make it all the way to Copenhagen. over there Katagats. 
surrounded by huge things. Huge. There's three back there. And then there's one over there. into them. Look. Look at this. <laughs> That's a serious dog fight right there. Yeah. We got one, two, three, we got four bogeys. This whole fleet will move back the other way. happened to me in Portugal. Still birds. Look. Birds. Seabirds everywhere. Boats everywhere. Oh, there's lights. Boats. Boats. Oh, the sea. Big sea boys. The lights that they're shining are super high duty lights. I forgot about that. To show their net. They're just pulling that net. All stations, all stations. No one answers. You guys can't hear me. <laughs> Whoa! It's a tally ho, big waves. All right, I'll get back at it until they come back around. It's gonna be high traffic all night long. Now we got waves, shoals, fishermen, freighters. It's getting nasty out. 30 again. I hate it when it does that. And what sucks about my AAS is that it, it only works like within two miles. So you can see everything on radar, but radar is like you don't really know what's in front of you really. Like it's nice I and mean, it's great, but it, it operates on that strange vector victor deal. And then all of a sudden it, it, it light up on AAS. And you don't have any idea because it's such a pretty weak signal that we're sending out. So we, they're sending out a very strong signal. We're probably sending out a pretty weak one. This is just operating off the VHF, and our VHF doesn't work for them. It's kind of old. And uh, the, yeah, it just lights up like that. But what's nice about it is that it shows their vector. And I don't mean to keep using that word, but honestly, it puts like a laser beam on the screen, and then. If you're gonna be on a collision course, which I was with the Clatabo, it starts flashing red. It did turn, but I had to turn too, which I luckily had enough room, sea room to do, but without jiving. 